Chats, plural. Okay. I'm going to record. Okay, if everybody can go ahead and mute. There we go. I got everybody muted, I think. All right, let me share my screen. Hello. All right, so we are here today to talk about Trello. So Trello, um, the reason why I got into Trello training is because I wanted to be a team builder. And, but you can use this for a wide variety of items. Okay. So just think of Trello as a cork board with your lines down it. And that came up real quick. Uh, your lines and then all these sticky notes on a board. Okay. So this is like organizing your tasks, figuring out what you're going to do next. So this is your cork board of things to do. So Trello terminology. A board replaces the cork board that we had, but it was a blue background with the lines and the sticky notes. So this right here is a snapshot of what your board looks like. Lists are columns of the board. So sign up. After signing up, get certified and set up once you have finished your certification and your first week. So the titles that are in bold are your lists that go horizontally up and down on the board. Cards are what replaces sticky notes. So all of these that say welcome text, add your mentor on Facebook, business name, business email, those are all your cards on the board. And then how to use a board. So basically the board Diane. is something that- My husband keeps... had to work because we have a event here called Red White. Diane, do you want to set me as co-host and I can help you with the muting? Yes. Let me pause. Okay, make co-hosts. There you go. Okay. So continuing. So the board uh, is something that helps you keep track of your workflow. It can be used individually or it can be shared with others. So I have an example of how it's shared with others because I have someone that's sharing one with me. I'm sharing one with one of my, my uh, travel agents. It's easy to move items to different positions and you can watch it. So I'll show you where the eye icon is to watch the board. The lists, so those are the horizontal columns. Those are the stages or steps of the workflow and you would add lists first and then you name each list. And then the cards which fall under the list, you would add a card within the list and name it. You can move those to other lists. The pencil icon allows you to edit the card and uh, you would fill out the files that relate to the card. Um, so I would, I'll also go into that in depth on what's in the card. And then we have a demo. So then you're going to go to www.trello.com. And before I do, just wondering if anyone has any questions of the brief, um, of what I've briefly showed. Which I'm probably going to say no one has any questions. All right. Uh, can everybody see my... Can you see my web browser, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Okay. And um, usually when you just put in Trello, it comes up here. 
You can click on Trello, manage your project, your boards. So right here is my dashboard. And this is my boards over here. You have your left-hand navigation. So there's boards. These are the ones you're working on, the ones you've starred, recently view, and then your workspace down here. If you don't want to start uh, but from scratch, there is a ton of templates that you can look through. So what I kind of, how I kind of got started, I found this new hire onboarding and I went and looked here and that's where I got some ideas because I Emma was a new mentor, so I wanted something in one place so that my new agents didn't have to go and scramble all around. I had one, one left, and now I have another one. So I'm slow to get on that board, but I'm there. And then, um, so you could do a tier list, lean canvas, a design, remote class if you're going to teach a class, or anything. Um, and then there's some things here, like you have a personal one you can look at, dating funnel template, <laughs> writing a book, home purchasing. You can do this for anything outside of travel agency. So um, in my workspace, I have my boards. There are highlights, which I don't really have any highlighted. And I don't have any members in my board, in my boards, but um, I have one guest and that's Sharon, who is, I'm sharing my board with. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my boards and I'll show you, um, I'll start with my one that's my template. So this one, and you can collapse this one right over here. So you have more space on your screen. So basically, I, you know, we have checklists for new agent onboarding. So I took all of that and I compiled it into this board. Uh, so after signing up, get certified and set up. Once you have finished your certification, what to do your first week, your first month, other items to do, doing and done. So, you know, we've got some things here that we that we do. Um, you're finished on here. So let me show you this card register for my teamhorizon.com. So here's the title. If I want to watch it, I would click the button. I can watch it or unwatch it. Uh, so when you go to register for my teamhorizon.com. That's Jody's website that she puts up. So um, this is, you know, definitely what you need to do. Write down your login credentials and it can take 24 hours up to be approved. But I do know that you now need to upload your certificate. So I can um, write this in here. You're going to need to write in your login credentials. So see how I'm going in and editing it. Please be sure to upload your travel training certificate. It's from Archer, right, Ashley? Uh, it's Evolution Archer. Evolution. It's actually, it's more Evolution. E-V-O-L-U-T-I-R. Evolution Travel. So that's the one that you get like within that you have to do right away. Save it. And there you go. It's added in everything. Um, so uh, over here, create a credit card authorization form. I haven't added any details. Join CLIA. I have given you the website, what you need to do. You're signing up as an individual agent. So all of this is in here. So you can do pretty much anything in here. Um, there's a download my deals app that you can do anything. So 
to see this board in action since Sharon is my uh, travel agent. She's done all of her signing up. She's all, all done with her, you know, finished her certification. So how those two columns were populated, I can go over to here and you can see everything that she's done. And one thing I want to show here, so sorry, Sharon, I'm using you. So here is where in her card, she needed to add a photo of herself. So she was able to go into the board, upload her photo of her so that I could get it. And that's what I, you know, announced with everything, announced her with things. Um, so she's done things. She's in the process right now of doing her start, starting her steps for success. She's joining Facebook pages. So you can see in here, I messaged her with the app mentioned, did you join Facebook? She gets notifications and she wrote back to me on March 28th that yes, she's doing that. Um, so she she's working on some other things. So this is what her board looks like when you share it with someone. And you can see how up here it says SZ. That means she's in the board with it right now. So those are the two people that are in the board. So another item that I've done is um, I'm doing an, a bridal expo. So... I have a to-do and then destination wedding. So I have, I needed to watch the Melissa Catoni webinar, sign up for free form. So I did do that. So I can do doing, add the list and it pops up another one and I could do done, enter. So I don't want that one. I just exit out. So those, I have four columns now. So since I've done signed up for free form, I can move that to done and it just automatically pop pops over there. Um, okay, so there's that one. And then I'm also doing one for weddings so that I, I went through the training. So I'm teaching myself how to sign up for the wedding. So once I do this, when I get weddings from the wedding expo that I'm doing, I'll have one for each of my brides so that I can keep track of everything that I'm doing for them. Um, so I've got set up for weddings, bride, bride and groom to do, travel agent to do. All right, so then if I, let me go over here. And I'm going to create another list. So I'm going to add a test list. Get out of that. And I'm going to add a card. So it's as simple as test card. Enter. Okay. So then if I don't want to add another card, I only have one. And you see this pencil icon here. That's how you go into, you can open the card, edit the labels, change members, change cover, edit dates, move, copy, and archive. So I'm going to click on it and you see it shows up here. All right, so I can type a description. This is how you add a card and fill out the description. Okay, save it. Um, so there's labels in here. So you see, you, you have some right now. You They can be color-coded or um, I'm going to type green. And uh, there's different colors you can pick. So let me pick a lighter green. And I'm going to put um, test label and you save it okay and then i'm going to do the other one and i'm going to edit it and i'm going to do the second oops second label all right save all right 
So that's how you do labels. And if you want to watch it, you click watching. If not, you undo it. So when you're watching it, that's what you are going to get updates for cards. Members, you can add any members. So I know that Sharon. I think you have to add them to the board first. She's not in this board, but you would just type her name right in here. Checklist. So I want to add a checklist. Test one, you can pick a due date. Oh, due date is for not a free trial. Because there is a calendar option, but you have to pay for this for the calendar options. Test two, test three. Okay, so when you go there, it automatically checks them off and moves the bar so you can tell when the checklist is complete and it turns green. Any activity, you can at mention people, you can add a photo, upload from your computer. So let's add a photo. I would scroll, I would scroll that. Let's see, how do I do that? There we go. Okay, it's there. Okay. So you see how it has the cover here? it would stay there unless you hit remove cover. So then it just shows in the body. And then here, if you wanna decide you wanna make the cover, you can do that. Dates, you can choose any dates that you wanna do to set a reminder. Then again, this is the dates. This is the date. It does keep it for, um, uh, to, to customize the structure, you would have to upgrade. So let's do today's date at 5.30. We move this over and we would save. So you see right here, it's got a due date and it's coming soon. Okay, you wanna move, you can copy it, you can make a template, you can make it as a template, archive it or share it. So when you share it, there's a link to this card, you can embed it or email it. Okay. And then I wanna close it out and everything is saved right here. So your test cards, you see this is a test label and this is test label two. So for example, you've got bride and groom to do. If in this case, if you wanna assign bride or groom to it, you can put a label. It could be bride or groom. So when they go in here, they can see visually I'm green, she's yellow. Uh, this shows that there's there were three checklist items in here, one attachment and it's due July 8th. Okay, and I think that's really all I have to share with Trello. Um, does anyone have any questions? And oh wait, let me go check the let me go check the question box. Diane, I did mute everybody. I can I have oh. it. If you okay. want them to be able to unmute, I will change the setting. Okay. For you. Oh, update the price for Clea. Yes, I need to go back in and update the price. 169, right? Let's see. Do you have to pay for it? There is a free version. So some options, like she said, is not available. So if you want to track it, workflows aren't included. You have to pay for it. Because right now I only pay for the free version. So I think you get up to six boards. 
Wait, no. I think you get up to 10 boards for free. Oh, our clear price is now 79. Okay, we'll update it. Okay, Brandon is out. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Or does anybody have any questions on how they could set something up? But I know I mainly did it for my team building. And then I'm like, oh, I got to do it for my wedding. Because I'm doing my very first wedding expo. So if you need to be organized, you can use it for anything. Anyone have any questions? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me ask to unmute. Are you talking? Okay, now. Yeah, I was trying to ask a question, but I was muted. Um, can we share quotes on the this platform? Quotes with a, with a, I believe so. So you would share your card. Um, I'm not quite sure how you would set it up, but uh -huh. uh, like if you're doing a group, you could do group tra travel organization on there. Um, it's not like Travify how it's integrated. It's mostly uh, keeping track of tasks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But you could, you would attach your quote. Um, I don't use Travify. I use just Google right now and I do send mine in PDFs uh -huh. because I don't book a ton of travel right now. I'm trying to ramp up. Um, but I do this. You know, I'm doing it for my wedding. So like I will have the bride and groom go in there um, because I know one of them, they're going to have to provide me um, their wedding list, for example. So instead of seeing like communicating back and forth through emails, I could just have it attach it right there. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't I have like a thousand emails. Let's just go to the Trello board and I can talk to them through there so that it's oh, one place. So you would have to share it with them via email first and then yeah, you could attach yeah. or you can do it through text message because there's an app for Trello too. All right. Thank you. So what you do on the website is also on your app. Okay. So it is integrated and it updates in real time. Like I've done it on my computer and then I've gone to my phone and it's everything that I just did is already there. Um. Okay, any other questions? Uh, if anyone is a team builder that is on the site and wants to be added to my board, uh, there is a way to copy the board, but you have to pay for it. Um, so... I can give you access to my board and you can copy and paste into your board unless if you're going to pay for it, let me know and I'll figure out how to get your stuff. I could do an export of the cards and you can just copy it into there that way as well. Any questions? Any more questions? And you can also go check out YouTube. There's a YouTube channel. So you can just Google in Trello and you can look there for advanced options as well. Okay. If no more questions, I'm going to close the meeting then. Oh. If you share the board, does the other person have to sign up for clients? No, they'll just have access to it. They'll need a login ID, but that's it. They would have a free version. Okay, you're welcome, Sabrina. All right, any other questions? All right, don't hesitate to reach out to me on Discord if you have any other questions.
All right. Thank you. Have a good evening.